What's going on guys, Card Mechanic here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a card trick that'll make you look like a genius poker player. Let's do it. Now check this out, I'll start off by giving the deck a quick overhand shuffle. And then I'm going to actually do my best to go through the entire deck as fast as I can and memorize where certain cards are. Okay, now you may not believe me, but I actually just did that. And just to test out this ability, I'm going to hand this deck over to a spectator. And I'm going to have the spectator give the deck a quick riffle shuffle. Okay, there we go. And we're good on that end. So, now what is the highest four of a kind that you'd want to get in poker? And of course, any sane person would say the four aces. Now, I'm going to tell you the exact order in which the aces appear. So the first ace that's going to appear in this shuffled deck is the ace of hearts. So I'll have the spectator now deal cards face up until they reach the first ace. And we'll see if my guess is correct. And there it is, the first ace, the ace of hearts. Now we can actually take this even further, right? So I'll ask the spectator again, give the cards a riffle shuffle. Okay. And we'll keep going. So now my next guess is that the next ace that'll show up will be the ace of spades. So now if we keep going, if we take a look, we'll see the next ace is the ace of spades. Now, what's even cooler, we'll take this ace and put it right here. If we actually just keep going, I could even say, again, I have a 50-50 shot at this point, but I'm willing to bet a million dollars that the next ace will be the ace of diamonds. So if you go take a look, there we go, we have the ace of diamonds. And then again, the last ace remaining will be the ace of clubs. And there we go, the order of the four aces. Now this trick is known as naming the aces and you could probably guess why, so nothing more to say on that end. Now this is a great card trick for those of you who wanna come across as a super genius or a probability wizard in poker, blackjack, or you know anything of that nature. Now there is a bit of setup involved for this trick. So you wanna start off by getting the aces in the order that you're gonna call them out loud. So like I did hearts, spades, uh, diamonds, and clubs, so I have them in that order. So you're going to take those aces, you're going to take three more cards from the deck and put them right on top of the aces and put this whole pile on top of the deck. So I like to start off by giving the deck a false overhand shuffle or a controlled overhand shuffle where I maintain that top packet of the deck. This way the spectator just um, feels like it's fair and you have shuffled up the deck. And now here you can continue the trick, however, I like to make it seem a little plausible so uh, I like to just go through the deck really quick like this and tell the spectator that I have just memorized um, where the best cards are on the deck or I've just memorized a good chunk of the deck. And again, if you do it this way, um, again, you're guessing where the aces are. So at this point, they'll be like, okay, you just saw the order of the aces. So now you hand the deck over to the spectator. They give the deck a riffle shuffle. That happens. Oh, and I messed up. Like I was saying, they give the deck a riffle shuffle. Boom, put that all together. And then you have them start dealing off cards and you say that you're gonna guess the order in which the aces appear. And I think the best way to actually do this is um, when describing what you're gonna do, you wanna actually ask them what's the best four of a kind or what's the best hand that you'd want to get. So most of the time they'd say uh, four of a kind aces or the aces are the highest cards that you'd wanna get. So you wanna get the ace coming from their mouth and say that's what you're gonna predict. So, boom, they keep dealing. You say, um, what was my ace of hearts? They keep dealing and eventually they run into the ace of hearts. Now again, starting off, that's pretty impressive on its own because you have, what, one of 50, no, I don't, I don't know what chances you have. One in four chances, obviously, of uh, picking the correct ace. So now you add, tell them you're gonna do it again. And so you have them take this whole thing back Put it on top, give the deck another 
riffle shuffle. So once that's done, they continue the same process. You tell them ace of clubs, or not ace of clubs, ace of spades. And um, there we have the ace of spades. And now from here, you could, I mean, you just tell the spectator that uh, you pretty much have a 50-50 shot of guessing the next ace, which is true. But now here you can actually raise the stakes. You can actually bet real money. Maybe I don't recommend that. I don't know. But you want to emphasize to the spectator that they had control of the cards this entire time since you gave them the deck. And you're willing to bet, let's say like five bucks that the next card will be the ace of diamonds. And then they deal. And there it is, the next card, the ace of diamonds. And then you can have them continue dealing, completely up to you. And they'll see that the next card will be the ace of clubs. And that's how you become a super probability wizard math genius god. But seriously, I hope you guys like this. Make sure to continue watching by clicking on one of these other videos and subscribe if you haven't already, obviously. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.